if you go to alicekaylor.com slash dice slides, you will get this template. You'll notice that it loads a dice menu and sometimes it can take a minute for any of my menus to load. I'm gonna click on dice and you can choose roll die and it says you rolled a four. Do it again with two dice. It gives us me a six and a six. And so this pop-up menu is gonna come up and tell you how many dice you rolled. And if you wanted to make this into a game, you can simply build your game here in this template or copy and paste your game slides into here. Now I've had people ask me, how do I roll die? So if you're a premium member, you can come and find premium dice slides and make a copy of the add-on. This one's gonna look a lot the same. It has the same dice menu, just this is my premium template. So you go to dice and you roll die and in this case, you're gonna to have to authorize the script because it does more than just a pop-up of text. And so you'll see that it has rolled one die, and then I can roll two die, and it's gonna do it though in the actual slides. So it's gonna make this slide three, four, five, and six. So this will show you all your dice rolls, depending on how many dice you want to roll. So you would build your game here. All right, and I'm just gonna, of course, Add a bitmoji. So say you're doing your game and on whatever is on the slide they need to roll dice. They're gonna choose how many die they wanna roll. It's gonna show that this is my dice roll and simply go back to return to slide. It's gonna take you back to the slide that you're on. So here I'm on this one. I'm gonna go to six dice. And when I return to slide, it's going to take me back to the slide that I was on. So this way you can see a history of all your dice rolls, but not lose your place in your Google Slides game.